Today we will be going over installing your EJK on your 2013 Honda CB500X. Before beginning installation, please make sure your vehicle is completely cool and secure so it will not roll around. Remove the two 5mm Allen bolts from the left and right side panels and pull away from the bike to remove. Then remove the two 5mm bolts from the fuel tank top cowling. Next, remove the two 8mm hex head mounting bolts at the front of the tank. After that, remove all four 10mm hex bolts from the rear tank mount. The next step is to remove the trim. In order to remove the trim, you will remove the push pins from the inner trim and remove the trim panel from both the left and right sides of the bike. Next, you will remove the left and right side Allen bolts from the upper side cowling. After that, remove the two Allen bolts from the front left and right side of the radiator framing cover. Then, disconnect the three wire fuel pump connector located on the left side of the fuel tank. Next, you will want to disconnect the overflow hose from the fuel tank. After that, prop the rear end of the fuel tank up. We used a 2x4. The next step is to disconnect the main fuel line from the fuel tank. In order to do so, you will want to loosen the rubber safety seal. Then squeeze the tabs of the fuel connector retainer to disconnect the line. But remember, be careful not to damage the fuel line with tools. Once you have the fuel line disconnected, you will need to remove the fuel tank. We suggest slightly wedging the upper cowling just far enough to remove the fuel tank. Then, locate the fuel injectors on the throttle body. The throttle body is positioned between the engine and the air box. Once you have located the fuel injectors, you can unplug the factory harness from the injector one at a time and plug in the matching EJK connector onto the injector. Next, you will want to route the controller harness along the frame, but keep it away from hot and moving parts. Use the zip ties provided to secure the harness where necessary. After that, attach the black ground wire to the mass chassis ground location on the left side of the bike. After that, locate the factory O2 connection and disconnect. Plug in the EJK O2 bypass to the factory O2 sensor. While you have your bike disassembled, you should take the opportunity to plug the pair valve. For detailed instructions, please see our video on plugging the pair valve. Installation is almost complete. Please make sure everything is securely connected and back in its proper holding place. You may now reassemble the bike. Reassembly is the opposite of disassembly. We hope this tutorial has been helpful and we thank you for choosing Dobek Performance.